Welcome guys. So in this lecture, I am going to introduce a new IDE which is recently introduced for exclusively for automation testers. It's still in beta phase, but this IDE have super cool features and it is perfectly designed for automation engineers, which got a lot of benefits. Now, for example, if you see here, now if you want to automate any website, then you go to the browser and you spy elements and get expats and CSS, right? Now, instead, all that you can do inside your IDE only. Okay, you need not switch back to browser to get uh, elements, exports, or CSS. See here, the browser itself is loading in the IDE. And if you want to get username, you can simply spy within this IDE. And here you go. So the export or CSS, whatever you ask, it makes you ready. And then you can now uh, directly start working. You see, this is an uh, uh, export which it has already given, right? And you can get CSS, all the details. If you want CSS, then it will turn to CSS and it will be added directly here. So let me show from scratch, like how to set up this IDE and how to uh, get these plugins to do. Just a, a quick preview of what I am going to show now. Okay. So this tool name is called Equa. So it's just not this feature. There are a lot of other cool features are also there. Uh, on a quick glance, let's see in this video. Uh, let me quickly go to browser and just type Equa JetBrains in the Google. So that's a product of IntelliJ. So I hope you, you guys already know about IntelliJ IDE, which is exclusively used for uh, um, Java or JavaScript uh, programming. That's a powerful editor, which is very competitive to Eclipse. So these guys came up with one IDE exclusively for the test automation. Until now, we don't have any IDE which is targeting for this automation testing. Okay. So yeah, they brought this called Equa. It's in preview mode right now. By the time you see this video, you might see the official version. But I guess this will go as a paid tool. Okay. This may not be a free version available. So right now, they just released beta version. That's why they are giving download preview. So for us to preview and see how this tool is, but very soon they'll convert this into paid version, I guess. We are not sure, but still it's a worth a try and to introduce in our project. So just go with download preview and based upon your operating system, you need to select that particular one. I recommend you to start with the download toolbox app uh, from toolbox app. You can easily install than uh, directly hitting IDE. So once you download toolbox app, if you are Mac user, select if you are in uh, Apple chip or Intel chip for Windows, it's direct. Okay. So once you download, then you see the toolbox, something like this. Okay. So here you need to go to the tools and you will find Aqua in available list. So go ahead and uh, simply select an install. It will take some time to install. Once it is installed, uh, you will see it's in the installed section that Aqua tool is successfully installed. Okay. So let me close this and freshly. So if you go to the toolbox, let's go back to JetBrain toolbox and click on Aqua. So first time it will ask for you to create project and all right. So it's very easy to create Selenium project here. See, um, simply click on new project and here, um, if you see there is a plugin called Selenium. So if you want to create Selenium project, it's very easy. Now, uh, you can directly say automation as your project name, right? And it is located in Aqua projects, whatever directory you give and what language you want to use. Let's say you want to use Java and you are using Maven, right? And if you want to use testing framework and for Maven, you need to give some group, right? Let's say com dot Rahul Shetty Academy and artifact is name is nothing but a project name what you provide and JDK. Perfect. So now you are telling create me Selenium project with a Maven build management and testing G on Java and now click on next and it will ask you 
okay so what do you want selenium you can directly give selenium version so automatically selenium dependency will go in your maven pom.xml okay so allure framework this is for reporting selenide these are some other plugins we have serenity all these are extension to selenium but just choose selenium and allure framework and if you want any assertions you can choose that but we already have test ng so with this check-in simply click on create and the magic appears here now you see it automatically created one maven project for you and in the pom.xml uh, you see everything is created even it brought selenium dependencies also for you you did nothing uh, by going to google and bringing the dependencies all that automatically it does okay that's the beauty of this ide it comes with default selenium template so you can simply start working on it right so you have all dependencies in place now go to source folder and the other cool thing is these guys also have given some structure of existing test see this is a page object model we already have seen page object concept right see all the page objects they have given one sample website uh, testing their own website called jetbrains.com they given few tests and also shown how to write page object for those and uh, dependencies are also ready now this is just ready to start uh, directly to run your test okay so select uh, whatever latest version you have they might given their own version but you can select the latest version or the version what you are interested in okay now once you set up your ready-made project now you have nothing to configure anything here the next step is to uh, download a plugin called selenium uh, so go to your settings in windows it is settings and in the mac it is preferences and here plugins i already installed it selenium ui testing this is the plugin you need to install this is so awesome plugin where you will find in the marketplace tab here uh, once it is installed you will see like this okay so have this plugin restart your machine and then right side you will see something like this web inspector so now you can do everything directly inside this uh, web inspector like go to the website and get your uh, xpath css and start building it and there is a lot of cool things still here now let's see how those work now let's say uh, you are interested in to go to this uh, Rahul Shetty Academy slash login page practice. I think there is one URL here. Let's start with this. Yeah. Let's say you want to automate this form, right? Now you need not open browser. If you have URL, then simply copy that URL in this plugin. And here you go. The page is loaded. Now let's write a simple test. Now these are the page objects defined. Now, um, I'll remove all this. This is for other website sample they have given. Now, let's say you are building for this page. Now, you want username, right? Spy on the username. And here you go. That's, there are some interesting things which you can see here. First, it gave you CSS, right? This is the CSS. If you want XPath, then select the drop down. And here, if you provide XPath, then XPath will be generated. Now to understand, this is the HTML, right? So HTML, it is saying hash username. You are already aware of CSS syntaxes, right? Technically, in browser, how it displays, now somebody inspect here in the browser, it shows like this, um, ID equals to username. But what these guys are doing is, they are directly giving CSS. Hash username means, it's a CSS which turns ID as a username. You know this, right? And if they give dot form hyphen control means again CSS. If you want to write CSS based upon the class name, how do you write? Uh, you write dot class name. That is the CSS, right? If you want to write CSS based upon ID, you give hash username. Similarly, these guys are giving different CSSs already. Instead of showing the direct HTML, you can see hash ID dot class name. And this is an attribute equals to value. They are also telling that, hey, there is another attribute called name equals to username, which you can use it in your CSS. Okay. See, now you can clearly see that it is uh, displaying here, isn't it? So now if you want to add that here, it's very simple, guys. 
click on plus icon here that's it that css selector is added as a um, page object element here how cool it is see all that syntax also you just need to have this edit box you spied on it and you clicked on this plus icon and it simply added here it's an awesome right now let's say you want to click on uh, password now again spy here perfect you see password is also there and all the related css also is there now let's say in this case you want to write xpath then directly if you click plus icon css will be added but if you want xpath select this drop down and say i want to choose xpath perfect you see here password xpath is added everything ready made plug in play right you need not even open browser to get all these details and even in your ide also you need not start typing this create page object files everything just push there now i want to select this checkbox again go ahead and spy on it and you got this um, css if you are okay with this simply click on plus icon and that will be added and finally sign in button go ahead and click on sign in button now let's say in this case you want to go with uh, like xpath or name attribute let's say you want to go with name see driver dot find element by dot name sign in perfect all these are created okay now if you want to refresh your dom or anything then let's say if it is not updating for some reason just click on this so it will refresh so you can spy again nicely so these are the super cool things available here apart from that now let's say your test is failed now you want to check whether this username css is correct or not so simply click on control in windows in mac it's command and then uh, hover on this you should see that highlighting here now you see control select this and username you see this is highlighting so that means from your ide you can directly see if it is correctly displaying or not previously what we used to do uh, we select this password, go to browser, hit on there and see if the password is highlighting. Now directly if I click on the password here, uh, select this and here the password will get highlighted. So that way you know that if this xpath is correctly highlighting something on page that you have written correct checkbox. Now you want to see this CSS is correct or not to highlight checkbox, right? Simply click on command, select this and see checkbox is highlighting awesome so this is how you can go ahead and uh, create your test now once these page objects are ready now come back to your test uh, let me uh, minimize it a little bit so now this is the our website right copy this driver dot get they have already ready made template ready about creating chrome driver all these and you know that from selenium 4.6 version you need not create system dot set property step it's a default taken care and uh, there is inbuilt package called selenium manager which will automatically download chrome driver dot exe file for you and set it in your system path you need not give that line as well directly start from chrome driver from 4.6 okay yeah so you provide the login page and then now let me remove all this now let's write our test we know that main page is our page object right so there username form control so this is the step right this is the page object for this username edit box so we have that directly so here what you need to do just send the keys and what do you want to send this username equals to rahul shetty just send it there and perfect one step is done similarly now main page dot password form control this is for password see how easily we are writing form page automation without even flipping or switching from your id to browser and next you need to clear checkbox i think for checkbox terms this is the one dot click and you click on it and then finally you need to uh, click on this sign in info this will take you to sign in okay and you can also compare how many values it matched just to know if it's the unique css or not one match is there right so you you can conclude that hey this checkbox css what i wrote is just one single item and it's a unique css selector uh, you can get rid of all this because these are just other sample tests these guys provided perfect your test is ready now you can put some sleep so that you can see that it navigated to the home page 
and this is just for sample guys okay um, ideally we don't put all this but I'm just showing you that um, add exception to method signature perfect go to pom.xml and once you set to your newest version or whatever you have at when you are doing this uh, make go to maven here and sync with the changes what you have so you can also do all maven stuff from here you see once you push on sync then it will update to the version what you have awesome so all the maven plugins are available here and browser inspection is available with web inspector right and if you want to do any database testing then you have that also here so click on plus icon and data source here where you need to give all your uh, database credentials and then you can also query from the same editor you need not go to any mysql editor or nothing everything is present in this id only so let's say you have mysql connection select mysql then you need to give that username password of your local database and that's it connect and you will have editor open here itself on right side to make a queries to your database so right now i don't have that in the separate section i will show again how to make database validations from this ide itself so everything in one single place okay now let's try to run this test very quick right click uh, run main page test and this is a test ng test right you can see that chrome driver started successfully so this time i did not give any system.set property also because in the latest selenium version nothing is required even chrome driver path also not required you see it successfully logged in and the magic beauty here is we did all that within ide in a short span of time without writing any much code everything was driven from this plugin play tools so this is how people are developing this tool i'm very excited with the way how um, companies are coming up exclusively to develop uh, test automation ideas but as I said, uh, this might be a paid tool and I am not sure how much, how your company accept billing to pay for this. They might simply say to choose Eclipse or any free version in IntelliJ instead of going this. But yeah, we can convince them and show the futures uh, if you have database validations, even API testing also you can do it right from this editor. Um, database testing inspecting everything you can do together so let's see how this tool emerges and uh, maybe this could be our future but as of now uh, this is still in beta phase so there are some issues going on still but this is the preview version what they released and here is the video just for your heads up all right thank you